So our next final is men's singles and when we look at the draw from the quarter-final stage uh, we can see that the number one seed, Sun Wan Ho, beaten in the quarter-final. That was a huge upset and it uh, was an upset by the man who now finds himself in the final. Of course in the bottom half of the draw, the two-time former champion, uh, Takashita. But for uh, Wang Yuxiang, well, will it be third time lucky? This is his third time in a Grand Prix Gold final. One singles finalist, beaten the doubles yesterday. Uh, a lot to play for today. Maybe a little pressures about this, this match. What do you make of Richie Takashita in his game? Uh, 对手可能相对来说会更心态会比我好一点吗？啊，因为比呃，他可以有没有比较咱们pressure，嗯，比较比较。Good luck. Welcome to the men's singles final at the 2016 Sky City Open. Would you please welcome your number 13 seed from China, Huang Yuxiang. And a man who has won here in New Zealand before, please welcome from Japan, Richi Takashita. the men's singles final. Wang Yuxiang, the number 13 seed from China against the two-time former champion, Richie Takashita. Well, number three is going to be lucky for one of them uh, because for Wang Yuxiang, this is his third Grand Prix Gold Tournament final. Lost in the final of the China Masters last year, and then he lost in the second event of this year's Grand Prix Gold series, the Said Modi Grand Prix Gold in Lucknow in India. So, will it be third time lucky for him, or will Takashita win a third title here in his third appearance at the New Zealand Open? Well, the 23 year old from China. Uh, from Hangzhou in eastern China. Down one place in the world ranking this week to 51. Down from his career high of 50. He played this event last year and reached the quarter-final stage, losing out to the eventual champion, Li Hyun Il, in three games. Well, as far as his path through to today's final is concerned, of course, it's a draw of 64 in the men's singles. So he's had five matches. That quarter final against uh, the number one seed of former world number four, someone Ho. Well, he was 9 15 down in that second game before winning it 21 19. Yesterday in the semi final against the number 16 seed, good to see the Malaysian youngster, the 2013 Asian junior champion, Sutek Shi, in the semi final stage. That was, I believe, his first. Grand Prix Gold semi-final. So to the former champion, the 26-year-old from Saga on the island of Kushu. Well, don't pay much attention to that world ranking. Down eight places from 135 to 143. Has been as high as 33. And uh, by virtue of the fact that he's won this title twice before, two consecutive titles, 2011 and 2013 and they were consecutive because there wasn't an event here in 2012. Well he's beaten seeds on the way to the final as well. Uh, three seeds, the semi-final yesterday it doesn't actually say but Tianmin Yuan was the number nine seed so he beat the number six seed in the third round, the number three seed 
uh, Lee Dong Hyun in the quarterfinal, the number nine seed yesterday. So once again, that's an extraordinarily good set of results, especially that third game against Lee Dong Hyun. 21-8, he absolutely raced away with that. I enjoyed watching uh, that match. So this will be the first encounter uh, between uh, these uh, two players. Uh, Trish Gubb from New Zealand will be the umpire for this. Uh, Ron de Jeffrey of uh, Caledonia will be the service judge. Now, well, it's been a while since an uh, unseeded player won a Grand Prix Gold Men's Singles title. Should I put you on the spot again, Ollie? Do you know? Last year. Last year. Unlikely person. It would have been Lee Hyun Il. No. Sorry, I lie. Lee Chong Wei, former world number one. Won yeah, the of course, when he came back. US Open. Yes, indeed. It's, it's unusual in men's singles for an unseeded player to get all the way through to the final and possibly win the title but not unheard of. Interesting that no player from China has actually won the men's singles title here. Chinese player won the women's singles three years ago. Ladies and gentlemen, James on my won. right, Richie Takashita, Japan. On my left, Wang Yuzhan, China. Wang Yuzhan to serve. Love all. Play. So the number 13 seed from China. There he is getting this men's singles final underway. Rally. Service over. One. Love. Now, whichever of these two players wins today's final, we're guaranteed a sixth different winner of the men's singles discipline in the sixth Grand Prix Gold event of the year. Last year we had 11 different winners from the 13 tournaments. Lee Hyun Il, of course, winning three titles last year at Grand Prix Gold level. And that just illustrates no. how tough all these elite competitions are. It's, there's nobody dominating at all. Oh, I think it just goes to show the depth that's going on in, in men's singles at the moment. Oh. Yeah, that's a good smash. It's a very, very good start by the former champion. It's win-loss record in this particular event, the New Zealand Open. 17 and 0 coming into this. Oh, that's a fabulous shot. Service over. One, four. He's got powerful legs. Just watch his movement back here. And as he's landing, he's transferred the body weight so that he's moving back to the base position as soon as he lands. It's going to go wide, surely. Yeah, well left. Two, four. Long. Little look Three, from Takashita four. to the umpire, as if to say, do you concur with that? Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. That's brilliant defence from one Lucianne. Four, four. No lack of commitment at the front of the court either. But look at that shot. Delightful. Service well, over. if you were with Five. us yesterday, you would have enjoyed Takashita's semi-final against Tianmin Yun. And we were singing the praises of his racket skills and his winning shots. He's got a number of skills that enable him to just put the shuttle on the floor, play the winner, rather than having to wait for the opponent to make an error. Six, four... I think already we're starting to see both players trying to seek control of the net and coming forward and trying to be as early as possible and trying to control the match from the net play. Seven, four. Yeah. Almost a half smash there. Concentrating more on the angle of shot rather than the power. Wang Yuxiang looks a little bit nervous to me at the moment. Right. Service over. Five, seven. I remember at the World Junior Championships in Guadalajara in 2010, uh, this Chinese player was the number one seed. He was the overwhelming favourite to take the gold medal, lost in the quarter-final stage to Victor Axelsson. He then went on to take the gold medal. Six, seven. Service over. Eight, six. Thank you. Oh, a lovely net point. Service over. Seven, eight. And there's great poise and balance when he plays this net shot. Look at that. And that balance comes from those very powerful legs. Yep, he's back level. Eight. Oh, by the court, please. Oh, 
What a rally. Oh, my goodness. How did he get that back? He's missed it. He's missed it. After some wonderful Nine. retrieving. Eight. the sort of rally that's going to mark the difference in today's final for Takashita compared to a semi-final yesterday against Tianmin Nguyen from, from Vietnam. He played very well to win that match. But someone ooh, someone like Huang has a lot more weapons. He's, he's faster and he's more dangerous than that Tianmin is. So and Takashita is going to have to Nine find four. a way to deal with that. Yes, it won't be so easy to play the winning shot. But look at that. He can play shots like that. He's going to be the winner of this final. I don't think he hurt himself, but perspiration left on the court surface that needs to be mopped up. Nine all. Play. Turn of serve going long of the back line. And having been a four love down in this opening game, manages to go to the mid game interval with a two point advantage. UCL. Yeah, he looked a little bit nervous to start with, I think, Bolly, but now he's settled. Yeah, I think. Yeah, especially from Wang is that. You know, he's coming into his third Grand Prix Gold Final and he's, he knows how it feels to, to lose two of them, so he'd definitely be looking to turn that around today. But he is the more aggressive of the two players. And yeah, you would like more of more that photos from him. And Tuck has done seconds. a good job of just playing the shuttle the into seconds. the court, and, which makes it harder right for right now, to play the aggressive Champions style from that he likes to. At the main entrance Coach, now. leave the court, please. Coach. Well, you maybe see more of one you see, I can't say as a, I particularly Eleven think nine. of him as an aggressive player. I think of him as a, a very physical player in his court coverage, and you know, he certainly hasn't got a, a feeble smash by any stretch of the imagination. He's got a very, very good smash, but. Oh, that's a beautiful one. Oh, oh no, you can't do that. Rally really exemplifying to me. Well, nine. Wang Qiu Xiang's just refusal to give up on a rally. He gets back shots. He has no right to get back whatsoever. Now that final little bit of trickery was outstanding. Service over. Ten, twelve. Oh, he's done it again. 
done it again. Oh, they're obviously so the fearful with Takashita 13, at the net. 10. The hold, and then at the last minute, just flick over his head. Here we go. Oh, yeah. I'll go. Yeah, we talked about Takashita's racket skills yesterday, and that we're seeing just as good, if 14, not better, from Wang Yushan. 10. Especially at the net, just the speed of his racket head that he's able to use to well, force Takashita to go in the wrong direction. Up. He's beginning to lose his weight. Eleven of the last fourteen points to Wang Yuxian. happened. It all started so well for the former champion. 16, 10, play. Brilliant. Amazing net help. 17, and once again, that I talked about the poise and the balance when he was playing net shots. But watch this. He's behind that front service line and leaps in one movement to play the kill. That comes from powerful legs. Over. Well, it really has been an 11, impressive one 17. run by Wang Just long. Service over. 18, 11. Oh. Yeah, good judgment. Service over. 12, 18. Well, it's been a strange opening game, hasn't it, Ollie? Yeah, it seems like both players are still trying to work each other out and, and see what's going on. And a lot of mistakes from, from both sides have been the way points are being scored. Service over. 19, 12. Well, just two points away from this opening game for the number 13 seed, Wang Yu Siang. Landed in. Game point opportunities. 20. Game point 12. Yeah. Game. 
first time of asking. And that's a very first impressive game, opening game from Wang Yu Xiao. So the first game in the men's yeah, singles love. final goes the way of Yu Xiang from China. Young, looking fairly relaxed now. But I guess the former champion's got to be asking himself what on earth happened in that opening game. He looked to be starting well. But I wonder, psychologically, whether he's just feeling under so much pressure because he knows his opponent covers the court so well and gets so much back. Whether he's Trying to go for the lines a little too much. You were talking about him making errors. And there's another. One, love. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm looking straight down that line. Two, I thought love. that was wide, but it was called in. Well. No Hawkeye here to have challenges with. No. All credit to Takashita, because... I think I might have had something to say about over. that. That would be more court. One, two. He's certainly a very composed character, isn't he? And yeah. He's been very secure of himself in his game throughout the entire week. address because that's what was bothering Takashita a moment ago spoke to the umpire and just indicated that somebody was using a flash on their camera or phone oh that's straight down the line three two
serve is over. Four, it's always a sign three. that uh, singles players in trouble when they have to turn and play the high backhand from deep in court. Over. But look at the Four. body language after Four. that error. If you're a Japanese fan, you'll be a little bit concerned about that. Yeah, look at that. Obvious disappointment. was the one that did the damage, the reverse slice straight drop. Idea, but just missing. Six, He's got five. to keep his mental discipline here, Takashita. Yeah, especially when you've lost the first game and it's neck and neck early days in the, the second and it's not been your best day as a player. That When Huang Yuxiang is uh, making a few mistakes like that so again as well, it's important for Takashita to keep Six, his composure four. and his discipline to try and capitalise on that. Yeah, no one better than Rafa Nadal in tennis. You know, he's having a bad day and you can just see that absolute refusal. I'm not going to make another mistake. I'm going to get back into this match. And you need to see that sort of determination. And also, if you show that sort of determination, then your opponent knows that you're still in there fighting. You see, again, a little look up towards the ceiling towards the heavens and sort of saying, oh no, perhaps it's not my day. I'd like to see that that dogged determination. Yeah, I think you made a great point when you mentioned that Play. like your opponent needs to see that from you as well and then he or she knows that they have to work so hard to win the point. Yeah. It might not suddenly become so that over. dangerous towards Seven. them, but oh. I mean, you can win points by hitting it on the floor or making mistakes. And in this match, we've seen a lot of the latter. It's his time. One Yu Xiang. Eight, seven. Works the rally. Yeah, even the winning shot is sort of a controlled aggression. Perfect. So it's over. Eight, all. Mm. Oh, 
comes in. Nine, eight. Oh, if we've got to change in momentum here, I think it's a little early to start saying that, but perhaps a bit of belief back with the former champion. Straight Eight. points for Takashita. here at the North Shore Event Centre, doing their level best to raise their, their man in this final. Ten, all. Play. Taken it. Well, got away 11 with it. 10. That's extraordinary. So it is Wang Yu Siang who has the one point advantage here in the second game. He's already taken the first. This lift, it's got to be going wide. It's got to be going up wide. Yes. Well, very easy for us sitting off court, isn't it? It's funny, we've seen it a few times today, but every time it's been in that corner of the court that we've yeah, been taken point. it when it's been out. Mm. We're saying something about going forward or in the front court area. Coach, leave the court. Yesterday, about the last time that a Japanese player won a Grand Prix gold men's singles title. 11 10. 2011. Play. US Open, Sho Sazaki. Kento Momoto, of course, has won Super Series, but not Grand Prix gold level. Oh, that was a nice aggression. I like that. Service over. 11, all. is well, beginning to wear 11. down Takashita mentally. Not necessarily physically. But I think he's saying to himself, well, I really should have won that rally. How on earth did I not convert? How on earth did my opponent keep it coming back? Yeah, you're right. I think he's brought... Takashita has brought a little more urgency to his, his movement since the mid-game interval, but... Yeah, things just keep coming back from Huang Yu Zhang. Yeah. Right 
13, 11. Five of the last six points. I wonder if this is the decisive move. decisive move to me. Seven of the last eight points now. Fifteen, eleven. Well, it's a couple of times he's done that, isn't it? Launching himself towards the net to play the kill. his opponent change your shuttle hoping it might bring a change in fortune play yeah I think the time has come for Takashita so to say okay I have to be more aggressive well, in my style. I have 16. to go for these shots. Absolutely. We talked about yesterday about making things happen, especially when you're in a situation where you're one game down, four points behind. You have to throw something to, into the wind here and try and change the game and turn things into your favour. Yeah, because, you, you know, you, you've got that sense where if it just carry on like 16. this, I'm going to lose anyway, so you might as well throw all caution to the wind. His game plan it hasn't really worked for him so far. Well, apologise for his good fortune. 16. Yeah, it's nice sportsmanship. There, the lucky net board. saying him play a deceptive shot from the front of the court today. Wang Yu Siang, that's beautiful. Over. 15, 17. 
Oh, magnificent. Absolutely it's magnificent. Over. 18, 15. Look how it leaps in the air, slices across the shuttle. Always landed in. Well, last chance saloon one suspects for Saratoga. Nishita. 16, 18. Possibly the so longest over. rally of the match so far. 19, 16. He's just so solid. He just doesn't make errors. Wang Yu Siang gets everything back. It's no wonder opponents think, how on earth am I going to win the points here? So two tantalising points away from his first ever title. One point away, set up with a magnificent flick serve. 20, match point, 16. What court? No, court needing some attention. One. No. Well. Never previously beaten here at the New Zealand Open. Takashita. But he's on the precipice Play. right now. Because four match point opportunities for Wang Yu Siang. Yeah, that's well saved. Service over, 17, 20. Ready to play. Still match point for Huang. Oh, it's, oh, it's called Game. White. Well, that was awfully close. And a smile from the former champion. Huang. Because his opponents, well, he did play well. Huang Yu Xiang is the Grand Prix Juan. Gold Tournament final and his first ever title in Match the world of Badminton. 21, 21, 12, 21, 12, 21, 21 17, 17 in 43 Hello, minutes. Yes, well... I suppose all good things have to come to an end at some point. And for Takashita, well, he's had a remarkable run here at the New Zealand Open. Well, 
heart is all smiles from one UCN, and I'm not surprised. Well, he was a little bit nervous right at the start, but and then when he settled those nerves, his net play was just brilliant. Time and again, dominating the front of the court. Again. No, Takashita, there's no question he gave it his all. But I think his opponent, mentally and physically, but especially mentally, I think wore him down. And it was a terrific victory, a first ever victory for one UCA. Juan, congratulations, you're our men's singles champion in 2016. What does this win mean to you? It's the first time that he won um, champion for um, the Open. Awesome, all right. There's a, you came in against a player that we talked about being very composed, but you seem to play his game. Was that the plan? Uh, 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 so um, they did a lot of analysis before the game and um, so and he actually uh, executed really well. Well congratulations, it was a fine performance. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion Juan Yu Xiang. Yes, well the first title is always special. And Wang Yu Xiang, well, the analysis of his opponents and the execution of his tactics meant that he thoroughly deserved the title here today. Well, prize presentation coming up in just a moment. Yeah, get the fans started young. I wonder if that's a future champion. Yeah. Lovely to see fans of all ages here watching this superb badminton. There's a mate of mine, Kieran Harrison, in the middle there. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the presentation for the men's singles final at the 2016 Sky City New Zealand Open. Presenting trophies, please welcome from the New Zealand Chinese Sports Association, Rianne Wong, and a Badminton New Zealand Life member, and nine times New Zealand men's singles champion, Richard Purser. First, our presentations to the officials. Your umpire from New Zealand, Trish Gubb. Your service judge from New Caledonia, Laurent Dujafoy. Runner up in the men's singles for 2016, please. Your acknowledgement from Japan for Richi Takashita.
your champion, the number 13 seed from China, taking out the Sky City New Zealand Open men's singles title, Huang Yuzhang, China. Three-year-old Wang Yuxiang, a first ever title in his third final, a third Grand Prix gold tournament the final. New Zealand Open. And now, please join us uh, and celebrate with the players on China. a lap of honour. Many young, coming up players, and he's certainly one of them. What a worthy champion, a beating the two-time former champion. That's a lovely way to win your first title. So to our next final of the day and we turn our attention once again to doubles. It's women's doubles at this time and from quarter final stage, four Korean pairs, two Japanese pairs. And so fitting in a way that we've got a Japanese pair against a Korean pair in the final here today. It's time to welcome our finalists in the women's doubles at the Sky City New Zealand Open. Please. Put your hands together from Japan, Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota. And we welcome the number two.